Hello, today we're in Leviticus 1918. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this day. And thank you for your word that leads us in the right path, that gives us the perfect instruction so we can be victorious, so we can run to your arms. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Why stay upset? Why even get offended? with friends, with our family. There's a reason why they're your friends. And of course your family. Eventually, you're gonna have to ask them to forgive you. You can't stay mad forever. When you're Christian, you know that you have to forgive them. So why get upset in the first place? Why hold a grudge? Oh my gosh. When I was a little girl, and I don't know why, I used to get mad with my family, especially my aunt. She passed away with cancer. She was an awesome person, loved God with all her life, all her heart, so devoted to God but I used to get mad at her and I used to be upset with her for days and it's not like she did anything to me I just did it I did it and I regret it I regret it so much I sometimes remember doing that and I ask God to forgive me but why why waste your time? You know that's only making you sick. And you're holding blessings from them. Not only from you, but from them. Just run from that. First, run from the situation. He talked about that yesterday. If you know that you're having a conversation with someone, or there's a situation and you know it's not taking the right direction, just run from it. But let's say something happened. Either you said something or they said something. Listen, don't open that door. The door will be there for you to stay upset and to hold that grudge or maybe try to plan something on how to uh, take revenge. It's not worth it. Especially if it's a friend or a family member. You understand that God wants you to forgive. God wants you to pursue peace. So why even open that door? Why go there? It is so easy. It could happen so easily. Because we're all different. God created us differently. So we think different. We act different. But your focus should be, and my focus should be, to pursue peace, not arguments, not revenge. That's not Jesus at all. That's the enemy that wants to lead you down, down that path. <sighs> Thank you, God, for your instructions. They're just, they're everything to me. I didn't listen to you before, but I listen to you now.
and I ask you and cry out to help us, God, to not go down that route on revenge or holding a grudge. In Jesus Christ's name, help us to honor you all day long and to stay in humbleness, in meekness, in forgiveness, in love. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless you guys.